today we are working on brick. This particular hearth is too red for the interior design of this house. We want this brick to look taupey grays with a little touch of speck of gold. So I'm mixing my colors. I'm using 50% um, color to 50% glaze, and this is all latex, which is water-based. So I'm choosing three colors. I am going to use a chip brush, sponges, and cheesecloth, and that is it. The sponge we are cutting, I, cannot stand a sponge to look like a sponged look. So I'm cutting deep grooves, organic shapes, uh, to make it look like natural texture. So first I'm going to target those red bricks because that's really what we want to knock out. We want no red in this. A lot of the other colors will work with uh, our finished design, but what I'm doing with these reds is I'm taking a nice taupey glaze and I'm burnishing it on uh, with a chip brush or putting applying it with a chip brush and then the cheesecloth I am blotting it off burnishing it on just keeping it organic I do not want this to look painted so another factor is the grout the grout is a nice gray grout it's working with us we could stain it but I'm ignoring it it is perfect as it is, so I am really not going to touch that grout. We're going to maintain the integrity of that grout, and I'm just working on the brick surfaces themselves. So I'm kind of organically just staggering this first uh, base color. It is very light, uh, light gray. And then I'm coming in with a gold, but I'm going to blot this on. I want spikes of color. I'm really trying to keep this organic in nature. I do not want it to look painted. So having a nice, uh, very varied organic, uh, rustic-y look on some other bricks, I'm burnishing to be smooth and I'm just eyeballing it. There is no rules to this. It's whatever looks good. So. I'll stand back and look at it from time to time and just really balance my colors, balance my textures. And it, this treatment is as simple as that. It is truly uh, very, very simple and just what you like, what looks good to you. Um, really, the red is disappearing already and it's just layering in colors to keep it look natural. Um, I'm going to use some really light gray, uh, full strain color, just to speckle in and give it, uh, you want a nice variation in color. You don't, it just gives it a nice punch. Um, not heavy on this. I want that drama, but not to take over and look too busy. So that's going to keep it looking in that nice natural brick, kind of um, organically placed and uh, just gives it a nice uh, variance and depth. We want that depth. I love natural stones and marbles and bricks. And the one thing when I work on these elements is a variance of color. You want that color to not be just mundane. You want little spikes of light, sparks of spikes of dark, and uh, it just makes it look so real. Uh, and, and it really, you can see the finished product. It just is a great success. The texture's there. The integrity of the brick is there. It does not look painted, but we have a completely different look. There is no red here. It is exactly what this interior design of this house needed. And, and it, it just turned out superb and I'm, I'm so gratified doing this one. It was quite the joy.